<laughs> All right, we're here with Alan Schmidt, uh, Director Sportif of Kenyan Bicycles Pro Cycling. Uh, Alan, uh, Apaco was very active yesterday in the break, he made the break, but it was very tough the first 50 kilometers trying to get that break established. Uh, can you tell me, was that the plan going into the day, trying to get some time? Yeah, pretty much any day we have Paco, he's <laughs> probably going to attack at some point, but uh, it was really hard the first, that was probably the whole day, it was one of the harder days all the guys have experienced, so we wanted to get something going, that move, uh, only Lockie really wanted to work, the other guys were kind of soft pedaling, so it was kind of doomed from the start, but we're trying to show that we're an aggressive team, we're active, um, so yeah, it was... It was probably like a B day for us. And uh, you guys are active too in the break in the first with Chad Byer. Yeah. Um, but there's so many uh, guys that are close in the GC. I mean, a top 30 are within uh, less than a minute. So uh, what are you expecting today for the TT uh, and going into the weekend? Uh, for us, we're, we're trying to limit our losses in the TT. Uh, Sunday's a really big day for us. Overall, I think uh, like Jelly Belly, Raleigh, uh, they're going to have pretty good days today, and uh, we get to kind of sort things out for finally on Sunday. And this is Paco's first uh, race uh, back here in the States. Yeah. How is he feeling? I know our training in Dubai it was quite tough, he was telling us. So, yeah. how is he yeah. feeling with the altitude and everything? He's feeling okay. okay. He's back. You know, he's, he's an old man. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, he's, he's feeling fine, and he'll come around. Redlands is going to be a lot better. He's back on our time schedule at least now, and uh, his bike's fit and all this, but he just came in last week, so last week. it's good. It's all nice right. to have him. Well, good luck and thank you very much.